Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial video. This time I'm on um, mobile, just testing it out. I want to see what it looked like, and I think it actually looks better than my old ass computer. It's pretty crazy, but um, this video I want to talk more about planning your builds because I think a lot of people don't plan their builds out that well, and that's why at the end they struggle so much with their furniture and it just doesn't look so good in the end. I think one of the problems is we should first look at inspiration before we start constructing our house. And the problem is a lot of people just look at other Terraria builds before they build their own. And so their house just kind of looks like everyone else's and it doesn't look like anything unique. But if you want your house to truly look special, I feel like you should look at inspiration outside of Terraria. Whether we're getting inspired from looking at weird stuff or just normal houses and gardens. A lot of people struggle to know what furniture to put in their rooms when they start building. I think the easiest way to think is, each time you're building a room, you should be thinking, what is this room going to be? Is it going to be a lounge room? Is it going to be a kitchen? Is it going to be just a room that's with the glass door leading out to the swimming pool? Or you should think of, what are you going to do in that room? Like, if you're going to put something down, like a bookcase or something, you probably want a seat and a light source so you can read those books. And you can do this in a ton of different ways, there's not just one way to do it. Try to think of each room as you go and what purpose each room is going to do. Because if you think about each room at a time, instead of looking at all the boxes at the end, trying to turn them into something, you're going for a much easier time laying down the furniture and everything's going to flow a lot better. And you can still do interesting shapes while you're doing a room at a time, but you're not going to have all that excess space if you're trying to fill in rooms that are already done. This is how to build anything good. It's like the problem is with the lob pill, they try and build something like a castle and then at the end they try and fill it all with all the furniture but they haven't thought about what each room in the castle is gonna be and it just has no structure. It doesn't look like anything. It's just a bunch of bookcases and tables. But if before I start constructing my castle, I think about what the entrance is gonna look like. I think about what type of rooms and we're gonna have an armory, a king's bedroom, a throne room a dungeon down below like what type of rooms are in my castle and if I need ideas I can look online and at the end I think about how they're all going to connect while I'm start building and then it's going to turn out much better and be much more interesting than random place furniture. And look at multiple sources of inspiration don't just look up one castle look up heaps of castles or heaps of labs or whatever you're going to do and work out what type of castle what type of lab it is what type of rooms you're going to do before you start building. Even look at like game concept art because sometimes some of your favourite games you can just look up the art of inside some of their buildings and you can see how they've decorated their rooms and get ideas. Sometimes it helps not to look at anything specifically and scroll through everything and if you want to find something that's not in the game like a tiled wall, search walls and find textures that look like they could be used as tiles and then just apply paint to them to match them up to your room and see which one looks the best for that room. That is how you build anything. Sometimes your furniture can be in the right spot, so it just needs a little bit of space. And you should always experiment so you can learn about everything and learn the difference between deep paint, regular paint, and how partial painting some things is good. And the more you know, the better building you're going to be. And if you know how things do work and don't work over time, like missing walls and all the different wall types and how it works, then you're going to become a better builder and you're going to be able to be less limited with your building, fully understanding things and how connections work over time. And the teleporter glitch still works, so you don't need wet it. Like, if you don't have wet it, you can stack furniture just by stacking teleporters, then remove the bottom teleporter and then you can place anything underneath that floating furniture. If you're going to um, use furniture in building as well and use things that other people have done, you can do it. If you've got different inspiration, your build is going to turn out differently anyway. You can always weigh up though, does it actually look good with the build? Because a simple build that looks good is still a good build and a complex build that looks good is still a good build. But if your furniture doesn't look like it fits or it looks like it's too much, you know, like a floating table that doesn't look like it's connected at all, you may as well put a plate with some bananas on it and say that's part of your structure. The first time you build anything, it's going to suck and you're probably going to have to destroy it or destroy sections of it and rebuild until you get it right. This is especially the case with vehicles because no one wants to see a boat where all the proportions are whack. So you should look up the type of vehicle, look up the shapes, look up the proportions and just keep on building until it looks good. You know, it's never going to look good the first time you build it and this happens with everyone. and finish your builds because no one wants to see you keep reposting some half finished build <laughs> that you never end up finishing people want to see you finish and by finishing and learning how to make everything look good 
on every type of build you do will make you a better builder.